Hello guys! Lots of you keep asking me the same question, is it really safe to travel to Ukraine? I can tell you what, it can be safe in every country if you are wise and smart enough and you know uh, what to do and what actually not to do in order to avoid different problems, unpleasant attitude of local people. So today I am going to give you some powerful tips to understand the way of behavior, appropriate way of behavior in Ukraine, just to enjoy your travel to Ukraine. So, my name is Vita, I'm client care manager at Match Guarantee. Welcome to my show, Ask Vita, and today we're gonna discuss do's and don'ts in Ukraine during your trip. So, stay with us, please. Don't forget to subscribe our channel if you didn't still do it. Uh, like our episode and press notification bell button not to miss our next episode. Let's start, guys! So, guys, I hope all of you remember the very important proverb and phrase when at Rome do as Romans do. What does it mean? I hope all of you understand. It means doesn't matter where you're from, it, if you travel to another country, foreign country, any country, you need to follow local rules and you need to try to stay as much safe as you can in order not to spoil your journey and to get as much pleasant emotions and feelings from your trip. So, let's see uh, what we can do in this way and uh, how really to behave in appropriate way here in Ukraine to avoid some conflicts, arguments, not to get in some problematic situations and how not to get some uh, negative attitude of local people which can really spoil your journey. So, guys, people all over the world, they are same, they are practically similar, but, you know, manners, traditions, some cultural habits, they look sometimes strange and weird for us. But doesn't matter if we like them or not, we need to follow rules of this specific country and in this way your journey, of course, will be pleasant and successful. So, uh, I want to share with you one of my personal experience. You know, 15 years ago I have been living and working in Japan uh, for a quite long period of time and you know what, uh, for me, um, these people uh, seemed strange in most cases of their life. I respect Japanese people because they are hardworking, they are patient, they are moderated and uh, they are creative, they are professionals in every sphere and they try to do their best in every, in every sphere they are involved, but um, some traditional uh, cultural habits for me uh, were quite unusual. You know, it was considered to be not polite if your phone is not put on mute mode. And if you laugh at public place, uh, you can obviously get a negative reaction of local people. I'm personally a very noisy person and I like jokes and I adore laughing and loud laughing, you know, but sometimes in some situations when I wait, went for my break to some coffee shop and with my friends and I was laughing and uh, my phone was ringing, uh, people really stared at me like, mm, what's going on? What's wrong with this woman? So, you know, anyway, uh, I tried to get used to this behavior and I try to do as Japanese do in most cases in order not to get in some situation. So I'm not sure how it is right now there in that country but 15 years ago it was like this and for me of course it wasn't unacceptable because here in, in Ukraine we used to express our emotions, uh, our feelings, we can laugh, make jokes and whatever we think it's okay. Nobody is talking about being too loud and too noisy, like to disturb uh, people who is next to you, sitting and maybe relaxing at the next table, at the cafe, but still everybody, I think, understand what is considered to be well manners and I think people all over the world, they understand the measures and limits uh, where your behavior start being not appropriate. So please uh, try to be wise and remember some simple rules uh, and in this way everything will be fine with you.
I can also uh, give some advice uh, for the man who is going to start dating with Ukrainian lady. This is very important. We will talk uh, in some next episodes about specific behavior on your first dates with Ukrainian ladies. But now I want to let you know that please never ask here lady to share the bills. This is not appropriate here. Ukrainian women, uh, all of them are from old traditional dating school. They used to get some attention and care from men. They get flowers and the men always need to open the door to let lady in. And uh, men always pay for everything here. So if you order the taxi for a lady or if you see she's leaving your date and she's ordering the taxi by phone, it would be better if you open the door for her to let her in the taxi and maybe it would be nice if you ask the driver to take the payment from you. It would be nice, she will appreciate it and you will look like real gentleman. If you are at the restaurant or cafe, never ask her to share the bills. Lady will think you are cheap, greedy, it's not good. Maybe some ladies who travel a lot to some western countries and who get used to this system, maybe they will be okay, but if it's just traditional Ukrainian woman, believe me, she never won't like this situation. So, gentlemen always needs to look as a gentleman. So, always uh, try to keep this rule. Also, guys, I want to mention your clothes. Some of you, I know, western people, you prefer oversized clothes, uh, maybe mm, just used many times, so you don't pay too much attention to this. But local people, uh, good women, they always follow the fashion and they will take mm, into consideration the manner how you look. So please, always try to be shaved, clean, haircutted, and at least if you even don't have brand new clothes or very expensive stuff, uh, just try to be tidy, clean and shaved, okay? And that will make very good impression on your lady and she will appreciate it. Very important moment, if you come uh, to somebody's house, if you were invited to some party or just to drink some coffee, uh, always remember, when you enter the house, always take off your shoes. This is completely inappropriate here to walk in uh, apartment or house with your shoes. Uh, I don't know why, uh, because people need to wash floor many times after this. It's just habit. We always use slippers or we walk barefooted or with socks. Doesn't matter, by the way, take care about your socks. They always need to be in a good condition. Remember these guys, because it can kill all the romantic attitude of your lady if you see if she sees something wrong with your socks. So, uh, people always will offer you to use some slippers. You can take it. If you don't like to use somebody's shoes, somebody's slippers, you can just be barefooted or with socks. It's okay, but always take off your shoes. This is very important. And by the way, if you were invited to some party and you know people will eat and drink there, uh, never come to the house as a guest with empty, uh, empty hands. So always try to bring something to share with people, food and drinks maybe, to make your commitment to the table, as we say here. So it would be nice if you bring like a bottle of wine or some other alcohol, what you're going to drink, maybe some beer, I don't know, uh, some sweets to the owner of the house, okay? If this lady, sweets will be nice. If it's men, um, you can think some other, like um, some other small presents, I don't know, but uh, Always remember, if you even invited just to drink some coffee, people will always treat you here as the dearest guests. They will serve the table, they will try to feed you as much as they can. So it will be very greatly appreciated if you will bring something to serve the table as well. Don't forget this, very important. The next very important moment is public transport. Uh, I think not all of you are going to use public transport, but it would be nice uh, if you just decide to try to get your experience because, pff, believe me, you can get lots of emotions, different emotions in this way. Uh, this is unique case to understand the mentality of Ukrainian people, but 
Here it's considered to be uh, well-mannered to give up the seat to old people, to women, to pregnant women, to kids, small kids I mean, and to women with kids. I know that in Western countries uh, feminism grow up and it's considered to be like a woman can stand, it, it's okay, she doesn't want maybe even to look weaker, uh, so okay, no need to give me a, uh, your seat. I'm still young. I'm strong. So, but here in Ukraine, if you will keep sitting in the bus, staring at your mobile phone, playing or pretending you are sleeping, also sometimes it happens. And next to you, like old woman, will stand. Believe me, you can get some negative comments from other passengers or like obvious negative reactions. So to avoid this, just please be aware here in Ukraine, you always need to give up seat to old people, women, pregnant women, kids and mothers with kids. In this way, people always will think you're polite, you're a gentleman and they will greatly appreciate this action.